Well guys, it's day three. I've done over 30 miles on my trek, my virtual check, tre trek, excuse me, from New York to California. Um, I'm tired, I've been up since 1 a.m. I have this insomnia for the past few days. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm, my body's adjusting or if I'm just excited about all this or what, but I've been up since one in the morning and I still got up and I went to the gym and I did my uh, 10 miles, 10.07 miles to be precise. Um, anyway, so I'm learning a couple things through this already. Already, I'm only three days in and I'm learning. Number one, I'm not taking in enough calories, that's for sure. So um, I've had to increase my calories um, to feel better and specifically my fats, my fat calories. So um, I'm doing, I'm of course grabbing healthy stuff. I, I'm grabbing, you know, sunflower seeds, raw sunflower seeds. Uh, I've been having more of the Shake Sleek Shake by Young Living. This shake, um, is vegan and uses uh, pure, no, uses protein, uh, pea protein, excuse me, pea protein. I'm tired, you can tell I'm tired. <laughs> pea protein, so I've been using that, um, just trying to you know increase my calories a little bit. Um, also today, I, I've had, I've already had a nitro, now I'm having a zing, nice you know natural energy drinks with another nitro in it, so <laughs> I'm tired, it's still morning. And I, I, if I didn't have an appointment, I would honor that and I would go rest and um, all that, but I, I do need to be somewhere. Um, so I'll rest later. You know, I'm just kind of going with the flow. Like I'm really trying to take this in a very organic way. Um, okay, so that's the first thing. First thing is I need more calories. Second thing, which is a good thing, right? Second thing um, I noticed is in the mindset piece of it, like as I was uh, working out today or as I was doing this, like I was very fatigued. I'm, I am fatigued. I mean, I did 30 miles in three days. So I... I'm, uh, my muscles are fatigued and I find myself sitting there going like, okay, come on, come on. And then I'm like, whoa, slow down. So this is not a race. This is not a race. This is like, you know, it's, you always say it's not a sprint. It's a marathon, but like, it's not even a marathon. It's not, it's, it's not anything like that. It's just me doing what I'm doing. And so I stepped back right in that moment. I stepped back. I was on the bike and I remember going like, just honor yourself, just, you know, I'm doing distance, that's it. So just honor yourself, honor your body. So what if it takes a few more minutes? Slow down. And you know, that's like a huge message in Living Fit Club because you have to like eat whole foods and uh, with eating whole foods again, you're preparing your foods. And over the last, you know, few decades, over the last 20, 30 years, especially the last 10 to 20 years, you know, we're in this like total constant state of instant gratification. and people are forgetting like you know sit down like eat your food be present make your food have fresh foods have whole foods instead of all this packaged stuff and because people haven't done that like we see like a rise in disease we saw, see a rise in mood disorders we see a rise in all of that stuff and um i don't know about you but i kind of find that unacceptable for my life and for my family for my for my you know my husband gets to make his own decisions of course but for my kids even, and my husband and I were just talking about this too, it's like everybody's on the go, 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 and our house feels calm, you know? And we, and our kids, not always, but our, you know, our kids, like we want this calmness to us, like step back, slow down, where are we racing to? So that was the other thing as I was doing this process that it was very quick for me to uh, be like, okay, come on, hustle it up, do the, you know? And, that, and that's definitely a personality trait but I'm tired and I'm fatigued and I had to give myself permission in that moment to not hustle it up, but to just be and to see the long term instead of getting those short spurts, short, short, short spurts, which I could do in many areas of my life, by the way, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm slowing down and I'm looking at the long term and I'm honoring myself along the way. And that was really a key message for me to be able to step back. So I feel great, I, I, I really do. Overall, I feel, I'm tired, but I haven't slept, you know, but I, I feel really good. Um, I'm staying well hydrated, I drink a gallon of water a day, at least. So I'm staying very well hydrated. I've been using my oils a lot. So, you know, here's what I'm really, really into. Valor, okay, Valor, Young Living's Valor. Um, and I just put that like on my wrist, I put it on the back of my neck, I put it in my hands and I smell it. Harmony, I've been putting this over my heart. 
Um, I don't know why. I actually don't usually like the more floral oils and I don't particularly care for Harmony and I'm like, I can't get enough of it. So I've been putting that over my heart and, um, and loyalty. Now loyalty is a blend that you get when you're on essential rewards for, um, at least a year. So Young Living has a loyalty program called essential rewards. And when you're on it for at least a year, you get sent this blend and, um, I'm really attracted to it. And maybe, I mean, I know the whole, you know, message of it and the intention is about loyalty in general and, and maybe this is about, maybe I'm attracted. I'm thinking about loyalty to myself and to my mission and, um, you know, learning how to pace. And I think the message or the, 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 the lesson of learning how to pace is, is a really good lesson for me. I, 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 I'm like, I already am full of gratitude for what I've just done in the last three days of this because I, I'm, I'm gaining a lot from it. Just, just that, like, even if I were to, I'm not stopping, but even if I were to stop at this point, I've already gotten so much that it's making me look forward to like what the next steps are and what else I'm going to be getting out of this. So it's been a really cool process. So that was really it. That was, that's where I'm at today. And I did it and I completed it. Uh, tomorrow we're having a major snowstorm in New York, like a major, I never even heard of this type of snowstorm. I forgot. In fact, I forgot what they even call it, but it's like a explosive kind of storm. I forgot what they call it, but anyway, I might actually head back to the gym tonight. Uh, with my daughter and do at least another five miles that way in case I can't get to the gym tomorrow um, And this is only because I, I want to track the mileage I mean really I can walk around my house and I have I have plenty of professional videos in living fit club But it's very easy on the machines to track the mileage, but I'll do what I have to do I just I'm gonna I know what I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna not do it So that's that's really the whole thing I just keep thinking about problem-solving problem then that's I guess another lesson that I get out of this constantly But I tend to be like that anyway just constant state of problem solving. So very solution oriented. I feel very positive. Um, anyway, that was my day three. All right. Take care guys.